Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Man Show with me, your host Sean. And we're going over the picks I did the other week. Well, the, what I've bought this week. First one was ticker symbol PFE, Pfizer. And funnily enough, I picked it before they announced they were doing well with a vaccine because they were below their intrinsic value. And I'm not chasing the vaccine. If they get the vaccine, it's great. But if they're below their intrinsic value, getting a healthcare company right now is a good thing to do. Now, you will see they have a P ratio of 12.3 for a dividend of 4.4. And that gets paid in July. So I haven't missed it. Now, I'm sorry, we have a lot to get on with, so I can't go too in-depth with it. I have done a video on healthcare companies before, comparing them. I, I bought a few more GlaxoSmithKline. Now, this always freaks me out, because in the UK, I know in the US this is the price, but in the UK, it's uh, different ways in pounds, so it's £16.22. I bought it when it was fifteen ninety five, and the P ratio is at twelve. Dividend is that, and they're working on a booster because instead of chasing a vaccine, they're doing a booster for the vaccine. Because anyone who brings out a vaccine will need a booster shot. All vaccines need a booster shot. Unless it's a lifetime vaccine. C Limited. Now, I did a video on C Limited. You might want to check that out. Has such a moat. Huge growth stock. Real e income. Now, this was a funny one. It went up. And you see there. It went up and then come down. Only a dollar a share. I sold and I made a dollar a share and then I kept. And it's a. Uh, uh, It was before the 29th of June, so I still get a dividend. So I managed to get in before the dividend day, so I made a dollar a share. So I bought some more real income. We all know it's a monthly dividend part, and people love it because it's one of the best ones. But if you look into it, one of the second best and the reason why it's not classed as the best is purely because it hasn't been around as long if it had then people would have had a different tune it's had a bit of a pullback but if you compare it stag it's a monthly dividend pair it's just paid and it's a 4.82 percent and it's industrial spaces. It's like all the things that all the spaces that Amazon and all the warehouses like. Right, if you check them out and who the customers are, I think they're probably a bit more secure than real e income. Anyway. Crescent Acquisition Core. Now, this is one that I haven't picked up yet. I've been looking into, and you may have seen my, my video on it. I, uh, it's more one I've got me. I'm looking at. I'm wondering if anyone out there is interested in picking it up. Because they are merging 
with Mark Wahlberg's Jim Chang F45. And I'm wondering, who wants to buy into a gym nowadays? You've got Mirror Mirror, Peloton, you know, Mirror Mirror owned by Lululemon, you know. And even after the lockdown's all over and people go back to work, I think people will still do it. will be so used to exercising from home and saving the time going to the gym, just like they're saving the time from working at home. And they will think... I might as well do it at home. Be cheaper and it'll be I'll save time. So you never know. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Become part mm -hmm. of the Savvy Money Show uh, family. You know, learn to be savvy with your money. And don't forget to hit the like button. Comment on in the box below even if you disagree i actually invite people who disagree any feedback you have please let me know that's the only way i get better and uh don't forget to check out the links in the description below there's links to videos you may have missed and there's links to uh free trading platforms where you get a free share for signing up now eros international now this is a streaming multimedia company. They, you look at this, they have all these signed deals with different companies. And apparently they've got another major deal in, in the works. And they, are supposed to be having a merger apparently with STX now if you don't know who STX is you will have watched STX shows or movies without even realizing it go and have a look at their show contacts now I I just think it's a good one. Netfin, it's one I want to buy, but it's not on 212. It's not on stake or free trade. I even contacted Trading 212 and said, Can you please put it on? <laughs> but they didn't. They said, We'll take your feedback. If enough people request it, they'll put it on. Now, uh, what do you think of the picks? Do you agree with them? Do you disagree? What have been your picks for this week? Is it, has there been something I've missed? And I, <clears throat> I know the last couple of days have been a bit finicky because I haven't been too good. I hope to improve the quality and I'll see you in the next video.